What's going on guys? It's your boy again, back again for another Path to Nowhere video. And for today, let's talk about Deren. So how do you use Deren? I would like to know that as well. Because me myself, I'm not really sure if I am using Deren correctly. But in this video, I will tell you my understanding of her kit and how I play with her. So first of all, I am not the know-it-all guy. I'm not really knowledgeable with it when it comes to uh, technicalities in the game. If you've been following me in my channel, usually my strategy or my playstyle in this type of games are just unga bunga brute force strategy. That is how I, I always play my game. That is my playstyle. Unga bunga strat. Brute forcing. I'm not the those kind of guys that uses low rarity characters to clear the game. I like using rare shiny characters like uh, Darren here which is the highest rarity in the game which is an S rank character that's me so if I said something wrong or uh, some mis misinformation please do correct me and I would gladly really I would really really appreciate that one Darren is the newest character added into the game and my oh my not only is she a top tier waifu she is also OP, judging by my experience of playing with her. So let us go ahead and check out her skill set. And as you can see, here we have the... As you can see, my skills are 7777. The skill priority for Darren, as I've, told by, as I've been told by the people in the official uh, Path to Nowhere Discord, it's 3421. Meaning, you should be prioritizing the first passive the second passive, the ultimate, and then lastly, the normal attack. So, normal attack, as you can see, once you increase this one, up to 130% if you level 10 this one. But this one is not the priority. The priority is the first passive, but we will go with that one later on. As you can see here in the screenplay, Darren tosses the screenplay and deals almost 600% attack physical damage to all enemies within range screenplay can be charged up to two times so if you will if you have Darren you will have you will probably notice that uh, you can act activate uh, her active skill twice if you charge it up and then let us now go to her bread and butter which is the passive skills and what makes Darren a really broken character and this one the 24 frames which is the First priority skill if you want to fully max out her skill set to level 10. Why do you need this uh why do you need to know this uh, skill priority? It's mainly because you cannot just uh, level 10 them uh, instantly because you need this type of uh, materials that can only be farmed weekly in the broken front lines and those are limited. You can only get 3 per week. So 24 frames, some of you might get overwhelmed with this uh, wall of text, but just read it. It is uh, w very worth it. And there are three things that you should remember for this one, because this passive is uh, the one that uh, will make you get the stacking, stacking back mechanics for Darren that will make Darren hit really, really hard. So... As you can see here, these actions by Darren begin to interfere with reality. Survive more than 24 seconds in the battle. That is the first thing that you should remember. Perform normal attack 12 times. Pretty easy to do also, especially if there are a lot of mobs in the, in the stage. And lastly, use ultimate 3 times. That's it. Once you've achieved all of those uh, requirements, Darren will have... A certain buff called interfere and as you can see here the interfere one uh, now allows Darren to attack rapidly instead and her damage increases by 35.5 percent and then the interfere to screenplay now allows Darren to move to the target grid and deal physical damage and one core damage to all enemies in the two grids in front uh, this screenplay is the ultimate skill so you should uh, remember this one and then uh, can be charged up to two times. This is the ultimate. Crit is now possible with this ultimate. Crit effect depends on Darren's critical rate and critical damage bonus. And then the last day, the, the, the last buff that you can get 
Each time after Darren moves, she gains a 25.4% attack speed bonus for 10 seconds. Pretty darn insane. Damage increase, uh, core damage, and then uh, attack speed boost all in one passive. Pretty, pretty broken in my honest opinion. That is why Darren is really, really good. Now, what about her second passive skill? The second skill priority. As you can see here, for each stack of interfere, Darren gains a 7.9 critical rate boost and 11.1% critical damage boost. This is all already considering a level 7 upgrade. If you level 10 this one, you get 10% crit rate and 14% critical damage. But as I've said, this one, does the passive skill tree is the best skill priority that you should uh, be focusing on because this one will hit, uh, will make Darren hit really, really hard. Now let's talk about Darren's exclusive crime brand or ECB. As you can see, I've already unlocked Darren's uh, ECB uh, phase one. So this one will give Darren a new active skill or a new ultimate skill. So, Worthless Film. New exclusive ultimate, Worthless Film. Darren transforms fictional power into a reality shattering blow, dealing 300% attack physical damage to all enemies within a single grid. For each stack of interfere, Darren, De Darren carries, the ultimate's damage increases by 200%. Worthless Film can only be used 3 times in each battle. Crit is possible with Worthless Film. Crit effect depends on Darren's critical rate and critical damage bonus. As you can see, for each stack of interfere, this interfere is the buff that you can get by uh, through her passive skill. That is why activating those uh, certain conditions and knowing how to activate those are really, really important in order for you to fully utilize Darren. Because uh, with this uh, type of another ultimate skill, this one hits pretty darn strong. Uh, the way I use this one, after I got the buff, after I've used uh, her first ultimate skill, and then I just unleash this one, and boom, the enemy just melts away. That is how powerful this uh, worthless film uh, ECB skill for Darren is. Should you raise this one to uh, ECB3? If you have the, the resources, then yes, I think it's, it's worth it. As you can see, uh, phase 3, 300% more damage. Pretty darn strong. Uh, yeah, for every stack of interfere, the ultimate's damage increases by 300%. So let's say you just have uh, three uh, interfere buffs. That is already a 900% bonus, right? Damage bonus, right? Pretty darn insane. So how about the recommended crime brand for Darren? What I'm using is Embrace of the Dead, and this set will give you a damage increase in uh, enemies that are in broken state. This one are very, very useful, especially if you are doing the broken front lines, where the boss is usually uh, in a broken state, because uh, that is the only way you can deal more damage. And with Darren uh, having this type of prime brand with her, and she already hits pretty, pretty hard even without this one, she will hit a pack ton of damage. That is how good Darren is. So now let's talk about Darren Shackle or Darren's dupes. How far should you summon on her own banner? I settled for S1. It's mainly because I ran out of uh, summon resources. But S1 is already pretty darn strong. So as you can see her shackled one, Montage. Uh, 24 frames produces one stack of interfere. At the start of a battle and the upper limit of stack number is increased by 1. Usually, you can only stack 3 interfere buffs. But now with the, this uh, S1, it gives you a more uh, up to 4, 4 stacks of buff. Meaning, this one is uh, related to her crime run which uh, lets you uh, her ultimate deal more physical damage based on the number of interfere stacks that Darren has. That is why this one is really really important if you really want to have a really powerful Darren. And that is why I uh, did go for S1. That is how good this one is. Chuckle 2, crit rate increase by 8%. Uh, 
uh, just some uh, minor upgrades but it is what it is uh, shackle 3 uh, pass motion gauge and effect with each stack of interfere produce all allied sinners gain an attack increase of 3% so a uh, team wide buff pretty fog uh, shackle 4 Darren gains 18 energy at the start of a battle this one is really useful because you really want to use your ultimate skill at the very beginning as uh, as fast as you can because you need to activate uh, her interfere buffs which uh, the activation requirement is activating her ultimate three times three times and then lastly shackled 5 crit rate is increased by 8% so not not really a game changer the really game changer buffs for Darren is the shackled one so if you are planning to if you still have not gotten this one try to get this one because this one is really really powerful and i think that's it for me for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe i would really appreciate it if you could help me grow my channel more and thank you to everyone who are supporting my channel i appreciate every one of you until next time peace